According to rational choice theory, if I have a choice between going to a pizza parlor or a burger joint, I am going to weigh the possible options and I will make the most logical choice with the resources I have available. It looks like I'm having pizza. However, what rational choice theory does not take into account is the social pressure I'm going to receive from my wife to go to a burger joint because my wife loves hamburgers. Now, I don't actually want to talk about rational choice theory. Not because it's boring, but because what I really want to talk about is network embeddedness. Carl Polanyi invented the term embeddedness to describe the kinship relationships that defined pre-market economies. Economies that were more driven by redistribution of resources than open exchange on a marketplace. In the 1970s, Mark Granovetter resurrected and hijacked the term embeddedness to describe both the problems and opportunities that being embedded in a social network can bring. Social capital, opportunities for advancement, and the general proliferation of trust. However, as social networks become more trusting and cohesive, they also become more closed and less susceptible to innovation. So embeddedness is essentially a measurement of how enmeshed an entity is within a social network. And this is a term that just won't quit. It has found its way into all sorts of disciplines, international relations, management theory, organizational design, and let's not forget, economic sociology. In fact, Mark Granovetter's seminal paper, Economic Action and Social Structure, The Problem of Embeddedness, is credited with launching the new economic sociology.